Welcome to Headline Simsbury. I'm Karen Hanville. The town of Simsbury has achieved silver certification, the highest level of attainment, as a sustainable Connecticut community. Sustainable Connecticut is a statewide initiative that inspires and supports communities in becoming more efficient, resilient, and inclusive. Simsbury demonstrated significant achievement in several areas, such as inclusive community building, thriving local economies, vibrant and creative culture, renewable energy, clean transportation, and well-stewarded land and natural resources. First Selectman Eric Wellman said, quote, this honor reflects all of the hard work that has already gone into making Simsbury a sustainable community, and I look forward to continuing these efforts moving forward, unquote. Sustainable Connecticut is an action-oriented, voluntary certification program that focuses on a wide range of efforts communities can take to improve their overall sustainability. The Board of Selectmen credited its sustainability team with members representing the Clean Energy Task Force, Economic Development Commission, Planning Commission, Open Space Committee, Recycling Committee, Board of Education, and the Culture, Parks, and Recreation Commission. Tom Roy, Director of Public Works, provides staff support to the team and serves as the contact person for S Sustainable Connecticut. Leaf collection will run through November 29th. Please note that all leaves must be in biodegradable paper bags. You can find the biodegradable paper bags at most hardware stores, grocery stores, and larger retailers. Check the leaf collection schedule for when it will occur in your neighborhood by going to the town's website, simsbury-ct.gov, and clicking on leaf collection schedule from the news section on the homepage. Dates are weather permitting. Residents can also bring bagged leaves to the landfill for free during normal hours on Wednesdays and Saturdays from 8 to 3. The town of Simsbury has openings to serve on many of the town's boards and commissions. Erica Butler has more. Hello, Simsbury residents. My name is Erica Butler, and I have the privilege of serving as your town clerk. Today, I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the volunteer process in regards to serving on an appointed board and or commission here in town. If you are interested in serving your town, this is a great opportunity for you. First, start by identifying any boards and or commissions that you may be interested in volunteering for. Maybe your current past career is related to the scope of the board or commission. Maybe you have served on a board or commission in the past that has helped you gain relevant knowledge to a certain board or commission here in town. Maybe you want to get involved with a board or commission whose mission is something you are passionate about. Whatever the reason may be, I am sure we have at least one board or commission that you will find interesting. A list of all of Simsbury's appointed boards and commissions can be found on the town's website. You may even want to take a look at current and past agendas and minutes to get a better feel of what topics are covered at the meetings. Next, once you have found a board or commission that interests you, check out the website meeting calendar to determine the days and times that the board or commission meets and make sure they match your availability. Remember, Choosing a board or commission that interests you and is one whose schedule fits your schedule is very important in helping you remain an active participant. Finally, tell us a little bit about yourself by completing the volunteer form located on the town's website and submit. For more information on the process, please visit www.simsbury-ct.gov volunteer. And as always, if you have any questions at all, I would be glad to talk with you. You can call or email me at 860-658-3243 or ebutler at simsbury-ct.gov. Thank you for your time and I look forward to receiving your volunteer forms. Simsbury Celebrates is a free community holiday celebration traditionally held the Saturday after Thanksgiving. This year is the 18th anniversary of the event and it will take place on Saturday, November 30th from 5 to 7.30 p.m. There will be a variety of events, entertainment, and food available for purchase, ending with a spectacular fireworks show on Iron Horse Boulevard. Hot Meadow Street will be closed to traffic between Plank Hill Road and Drake Hill Road starting at 5 p.m. to make way for the more than two dozen family-friendly activities. 
The fire truck parade will start at 7.30 and the fireworks at 8.15. To see the full schedule of activities or to sign up to volunteer or to donate, go to SimsburyCelebrates.com. The Bruce Porter Memorial Music Series welcomes the New England Ringers for their Christmas Around the World program at 4 p.m. on Sunday, December 8th at South Congregational Church, 242 Salmon Brook Street, which is Route 10 in Granby. The New England Ringers, a 15-member hand bell ensemble, will perform elegant arrangements of holiday music on a six-octave set of chimes and bells that range in weight from seven ounces to 12 pounds. The natural acoustics of the South Church Sanctuary make performing in that space a rewarding experience for the players and audience. A reception will follow. Admission is free with a suggested donation of $15 and the venue is wheelchair accessible. Deb Bibbins is here with information about activities for all ages. Hi everyone, I am Deb Bibbins, the founder of For All Ages, a nonprofit organization working to combat loneliness and isolation, improve health and well-being, and change the dialogue on aging through intergenerational programs. For All Ages has two intergenerational programs running in Simsbury over the next six months, one of which is our Chairs for All Ages program. We've been bringing older adults from the local community into the high school technical manufacturing class to redesign Adirondack chairs to make them easier for people of all ages to enjoy. The intergenerational team is currently building 10 chairs, which we plan to set out in pairs throughout Simsbury next year as part of Simsbury's 350th anniversary. We have received verbal commitments from three organizations in town to sponsor a pair, and we're looking for sponsors for the remaining two pairs. The sponsorship document is available on our website at www.forallages.org. If you own a business in town and would like to support this program, I welcome you to reach out to me to talk about sponsoring a pair of chairs. You can contact me at deb.bibbins, B-I-B-B-I-N-S, at forallages.org. The second phase of the chairs program involving painting the chairs is scheduled to begin on Thursday, January 30th at Simsbury High School and will continue on February 6th and February 13th after school from 2 to 3.30 p.m. The final session is a five-hour session that is currently scheduled to take place on March 5th from 10.45 a.m. to 3.30 p.m., also at the high school. We are currently looking for 10 older adults, age 50 plus, who have basic painting skills and an interest in working with high school art students to design and paint the chairs. Each adult will be paired with one or two students to work on a chair over the four painting sessions. This is a wonderful opportunity to connect with the students and to be part of Simsbury's 350th. This is not a contest and there is no judging. Rather, we hope that the collaboration with the students will result in unique chairs that residents and visitors to our town will seek out and enjoy throughout 2020. This intergenerational program, the first of its kind in Connecticut, cannot happen without older adult volunteers. If you're at least 50 years old and interested in volunteering for this program, I invite you to visit our website at www.forallages.org slash volunteer for more information and to download our volunteer application. The instructions for getting the application back to us are included as part of the application document. Also, there is a $19 background check that I will be requiring after I receive your application. I'm looking forward to seeing this community project come to life and can't wait to see the creativity that results from intergenerational collaboration. I hope that you'll consider becoming a volunteer for this program. I also wanted to mention our Simsbury Rocks 2020 program. This is another exciting program that we are running over the next six months, 
again in celebration of Simsbury's 350th anniversary. We are inviting older adults to join Simsbury Girl Scouts in the craft room at Eno Memorial Hall for monthly intergenerational rock painting sessions. You'll enjoy painting one of 350 rocks that for all ages will place throughout Simsbury for a town-wide scavenger hunt on May 22nd of next year. You can sign up at the Simsbury Senior Center in advance for this free program where you will enjoy getting to know local Girl Scouts while expressing your creativity. This program includes all materials as well as a snack. Simply attend and have a wonderful afternoon. Dates for this program can be found on the Simsbury Senior Center website under News and Announcements and at www.forallages.org slash Simsbury dash rocks. We're actively connecting the generations in Simsbury. I invite you to like our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram at forallages.org where we're posting photos from each of these programs each week. In closing, I would like to wish each of you a wonderful Thanksgiving with family and friends. And if you know an older adult without family close by, please consider inviting that person to your holiday table this year. Thank you, and I look forward to speaking with you again soon. Girl Scouts of Connecticut will host its 23rd annual Breakfast Badge Award at the Marriott Hartford downtown on Friday, December 6th from 7.30 to 9.30 a.m. The organization's theme is Celebrating Women Who Soar, honoring women who have gone above and beyond in their careers and who serve as role models for girls and women of all ages. One of the honorees this year is Merrill Mallory, Vice President of Engineering at Ensign Bickford Aerospace and Defense Company. She is responsible for overseeing the product development of mission critical hardware that it uses on missiles, launch vehicles, and satellites. She started her career in 1987 and came to the Ensign Bickford Aerospace and Defense Company in 1997 as a research and development engineer. Local Girl Scouts will be there also to discuss and showcase their highest award projects. For sponsorship and event details or to learn more about joining or volunteering for Girl Scouts, visit gsofct.org. The Simsbury Parks and Recreation Department is sponsoring a holiday bus trip to New York City on Saturday, December 14th. The bus will leave from the Simsbury High School at 7.15 a.m. and return approximately 7 p.m. Drop-off points will be at the Metropolitan Museum of Art and Rockefeller Center. You can register online at simsburyrec.com or call the Parks and Recreation Department at 658-3836. Simsbury Open Studios is pleased to announce members' one-day holiday art sale on Saturday, November 23rd at the Simsbury Free Library from 10 to 4. Featured artists will have works displayed for sale. Visit simsburyartist.org for more information. The Second Chance Shop welcomes the holidays with festive clothing, household, and decorative items suitable for gifts. 50% off sales will be on November 27th, 29th, and 30th. They will be closed on Thanksgiving. A holiday open house will be held on Thursday, December 5th from 4 to 7 p.m. Enjoy special promotions, treats, decorations, and gifts suitable for home, family, and friends. Their jewelry sparkles, so should you. Shop hours are Monday through Saturday, 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m., except opening at 11 a.m. on December 4th and 12.30 p.m. on December 5th. Donations are always welcome during regular shop hours. The Second Chance Shop is located at 12 Station Street in Simsbury. The Simsbury Women's Club will be offering a $2,500 adult woman scholarship to a Connecticut woman who is a U.S. citizen currently enrolled in an institution of higher learning with a GPA of 3.0 or higher and has completed at least 60 credits of undergraduate work. 
This is in addition to the scholarship being offered by the General Federation of Women's Clubs of Connecticut. Applications are available to download at simsburywomensclub.org. Only scholarship winners will be notified. Completed applications and all supporting materials must be received by February 10th, 2020. And any questions should be emailed to swcscholarships2000 at gmail.com. Sarah Ray is here with what's going on at the library. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah Ray, Teen Services Librarian at the Simsbury Public Library. I'd like to share with you some upcoming activities we have planned for students in middle and high school. Do you love Star Wars? We have an event for you. On Saturday, December 14th, test your Star Wars trivia knowledge against teens from other towns. The teen services librarians from Simsbury, Avon, Farmington, and West Hartford have put together a fun program that includes more than just trivia. We will have themed snacks, hands-on activities, plus prizes. This event is open to students in grades 5 through 12 and is held at the Farmington Library from 12 to 4 p.m. A returning program favorite open to both teens and adults is Not Your Parents Board Games. One Saturday a month, you are invited to explore the world of board games beyond traditional choices. Learn what's new with Game Master Anthony Ferrillo. Great for families, individuals, or groups of friends. Our next session takes place on December 7th from 1 to 3 p.m. I'd like to give you a sneak peek into our teen winter program schedule. You can find the winter newsletter covering programs December through February by visiting the library in person or online at simsburylibrary.info. On December 20th, we will be watching the movie Elf, drinking hot cocoa, and snacking on candy canes. If that gets you excited about hot co cocoa, join us for once a month Friday afternoon hot cocoa bar program happening January through March, where you can dress up your cocoa with a variety of toppings. Speaking of sugar, we will be trying out recipes from the cookbook Treat Yourself. This book contains recipes made with Rice Krispie treats. The two recipes we will be making together are emojis and a box of chocolates. For those of you excited about crafting, we welcome back Dawn Zilich to teach us how to arm knit a scarf. No experience is necessary. You use your arms as knitting needles, and this program is open to adults as well as teens. Another favorite guest that will join us this winter is Raven. Raven is a local therapy dog, and she will help you beat the winter blues once a month on Friday afternoons. What a fun and relaxing way to finish your week. For more information on these programs and others, visit our website at simsburylibrary.info. You can also find us on social media. Like our Facebook page and follow our Instagram accounts. If you have not had the opportunity to meet the new business librarian yet, please meet Sherm. Hello, I'm Andrew Sherman and I'm the new business resource coordinator at the Simsbury Public Library. My nickname is Sherman and I hail from Nebraska. I bring a wealth of business and library experience to this position. I've been a librarian for the past decade. Before becoming a librarian, I had a successful IT career in banking and distribution. I look forward to supporting the Simsbury community and aiding in its economic growth. Please contact me at the library if you need any assistance with your career business. Thank you. NAMI of the Farmington Valley will hold free, confidential, and safe family support groups for families living with mental health challenges on the fourth Tuesday of each month from 7 to 8.30 p.m. The meetings take place at the Bloomfield Community Center located at 330 Park Avenue in Bloomfield. For more, for more information, call Roseanne at 860-948-8736. Mary Doyle Clark is here with what's going on at the Senior Center. Hi, I'm Mary Doyle Clark, and here's what's going on at the Simsbury Senior Center. Join us for our Monday supper on December 2nd at 5 p.m. On the menu will be chicken pot pie, rolls and butter, salad, cranberry sauce, and dessert. The cost is $5, and you can sign up through the Senior Center. Monday suppers are offered the first Monday of every month. Learn to make self-care a priority to meet your physical, spiritual, and emotional needs at the Best Gift Is You workshop from 1 to 2 p.m. on Tuesday, December 3rd at Simsbury Public Library. 
you will learn causes and symptoms of stress and explore different creative self-care strategies. Presented by Anita Wieland and Jennifer Labrie, resource coordinators with Hartford Healthcare Center for Healthy Aging. This event is co-sponsored by the Library and Senior Center. Please register at either location. Join your Senior Center friends at our holiday party from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Thursday, December 5th. This annual favorite features a catered lunch of chicken piccata, glazed carrots, roasted potatoes, rolls, and dessert, and costs $8. <coughs> Our Intonations Choral Group will begin the festivities with a performance followed by a sing-along of seasonal music. Please contact the Senior Center to register. Did you know the Senior Center offers beginner and intermediate level Tai Chi classes on Tuesday and Friday mornings? Tai Chi is one of the most effective exercise systems for mental and physical well-being. Emphasis is on breathing and the use of gentle, fluid movements. Tai Chi releases tension, deepens relaxation, improves balance, increases bone density, and develops muscle tone. Its gentleness is especially suited for older adults and people who are rehabilitating from an illness or an accident. For more information or to sign up for a class, contact the Senior Center. The Simsbury Senior Center is located at 754 Hot Meadow Street in the Eno Memorial Hall building. Our hours are Mondays, 8.30 a.m. to 7 p.m., Tuesday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., and Fridays, 8.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. Call us at 860-658-3273 for additional information or go to our website. Thanks for watching. See you at the Senior Center. The Senior Center and Resilience Grows Here are co-sponsoring a coffee for veterans on Monday, December 2nd from 10 to 11 a.m. This is a great time to connect with area veterans who may share similar experiences. Please register at 658-3273 or email the address on the screen. The Hartford Symphony Orchestra continues its masterwork series with a holiday weekend of Chopin and Frank, Friday, December 6th through Sunday, December 8th in the Belding Theater at the Bushnell in Hartford. These concerts will be conducted by guest conductor Laura Jackson and feature pianist Daniela Liebman. Laura Jackson is now in her 11th season as music director of the Reno Philharmonic. She served as the first female assistant conductor of the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra from 2004 to 2007. She studied conducting at the University of Michigan and spent summers as the Seje Ozawa Conducting Fellow at the Boston Symphony Orchestra's Tanglewood Music Center in 2002 and 3. 17-year-old Mexican pianist Daniela Liebman debuted at age 8. She has performed with more than 25 orchestras on four continents. When Daniela was 14 and 15 years old, she was named one of the 40 most creative Mexicans in the world by Forbes Mexico. And again in 2018, Daniela was named one of Forbes Mexico's 100 most creative and powerful women. A pre-concert talk will be led by Laura Jackson one hour prior to curtain for each performance. For tickets and information, visit hartfordsymphony.org. The Simsbury H Historical Society is in need of old, much-loved sleds for their annual sled painting event to be held on Saturday, December 7th at 1 p.m. in the Ellsworth Center. Come paint an old sled with a design of your choice and take it home that afternoon. Sleds will be primed and ready for decoration. All materials will be provided for the cost of $40. Space is limited, so you must register in advance. For sled donations, drop off at the museum store, which is open from Thursdays to Saturday, noon to 4. 
The Simsbury Historical Society also has new items in their gift shop. Register on their website, simsburyhistory.org, under News and Events. On Tuesday, December 10th at 5.30 p.m., Anthology of Simsbury will present a seminar on vascular education. Learn about what vascular disease is, what to look for, how your doctor diagnoses it, and some of the newest treatments available from board-certified vascular surgeons. Free ultrasound screenings for vascular disease will be offered the following day. For more information or to RSVP, call Renee at 860-457-1045 or email the address on the screen. Anthology Senior Living is located at 142 Cooper Avenue in Simsbury. Sponsor a veteran's grave with a wreath in memoriam, even if you don't know a veteran, for Wreaths Across America laying ceremony on December 14th. Orders need to be placed by November 27th, and forms are available at the entrance to the Simsbury Cemetery and Eno Memorial Hall. You can also email the address on the screen. Attend the laying ceremony at noon at the Simsbury Cemetery, 16 Plank Hill Road on December 14th, and dress warmly. We hope you enjoy this program and we hope to continue to bring local programming into your homes, businesses, and to your electronic devices. If you are a Comcast or Frontier cable subscriber, less than $10 per year supports SCTV and we need your help to stay on the air. Please consider supporting your local community access television station by writing a check to SCTV and send it to 754 Hop Meadow Street, Simsbury, 06070. Or make a secure donation on our website, simsburytv.org. If you're interested in volunteering, contact me at 658-1720 or email me at karen at simsburytv.org. Or visit us in the lower level of Eno Memorial Hall. I'm Karen Hanville, and we are SCTV, your town, your schools, your government. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.